National High School, Western Poblacion, Poro, Cebu, presents the fourth Senior High School Graduation Exercises with the theme, Kaligat ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gita ng Pandemya. The Processional The Graduating Class Department of Education Mga kababayan, ang matangkang awit ng Pilipinas
The Words of Welcome by Miss Kyle Mitch E. Alpici, graduating class with high honors. To our respected public schools district supervisor, Dr. Abby P. Barnes, to our school head, Miss Marietta A. Gorgonio, honored guests, trustees, school staffs, and faculties of Zosimu E. Fabroa Memorial National High School, parents, students, friends, colleagues, schoolmates, relatives, viewers worldwide, our distinguished graduates of class of 2021, ladies and gentlemen, good day. Let us take a moment to think about how we have traveled through this journey in our senior high school years. Student life has been full of twists and turns marked by countless challenges to overcome, whether they were academic, athletic, artistic, or personal. This school year's theme is Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, or Strengthening a Quality Education amid COVID-19 pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many school graduations replaced with virtual drive-in and other alternative ceremonies. Our reactions are unexplainable when we receive the news the way of learning will definitely change. Despite of that, we continue to learn. We continue to grow. We fight the battle against the pandemic. We should not let the learning frozen. Each day, we have to discover and explore new things. Thank you for all of the heroes who combat the unseen enemy. It is a fantastic achievement for each of us to have made it here today. And I am proud to share this moment to all of you. However, we have not made it here on our own efforts alone. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge those who have gotten us to where we are today. Because the truth is, none of us could have made it here without your help. Wherein, our batch is the first to experience the blended learning. Indeed, finishing this challenging school year during these trying times of COVID-19 pandemic is remarkable and inevitable to face and accept the new normal landscape of education. It is a remarkable experience to think the years we spent here at Zosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School are coming to end. Hence, we are positive to bring to you this glorious moment concluding our high school education. Likewise, it is my utmost pleasure and honor to welcome you all to the fourth graduation ceremony. Thank you very much. The presentation of candidates for graduation to the Deaf Ed Higher Officials. Here is Ms. Marietta A. Gorgonio, Principal 1. School head. Dr. Abiti Barnes, Poro District, Public Schools District Supervisor, in my capacity as the school head of Susimo E. Fabrua Memorial National High School, I have the honor to present these 71 candidates for graduation this school year 2020 2021. 36 of them are males and 35 are females. They have satisfactorily completed and fulfilled the basic requirements for senior high school curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 basic education curriculum. They are now awaiting for your confirmation. For the confirmation and acceptance of the senior high school graduates of Zusimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School for the school year 2020-2021, here is the authorized representative of the Cebu province. Here is the PSDS Saburo District, Dr. Abby P. Barnes. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Marilyn S. Andales, 
based on the facts and figures that your school head has just presented to me and upon the assurance that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for a senior high school curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education, I do hereby confirm you graduates with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. You are now eligible to enroll in any tertiary school within the Republic of the Philippines. Congratulations and Godspeed. Distribution of diplomas to the senior high school graduates of Zusimo E. Favreau Memorial National High School 2021. Mercedes Poro Cebu Nagroa J. Mar Garciano Mabini Poro Cebu Pagroa Borneo Enrico Rocabarte Western Pogacion Poro Cebu Florentino Ayan Mercedes Poro Cebu Gabaran Johnny Lacbayo Tigues Poro Cebu Gonzales Kian Letnor, Tigues Poro Cebu. Ungakit Brian Giuliano, Western Poblacion Poro Cebu. Bucanas Junior Velocito Moania, Mabini Poro Cebu. Mabulay Juni Praem Garciano, Western Poblacion Poro Cebu. Maguto Carlo, Western Poblacion Poro Cebu. Western Poblacion Poro Cebu Urbano Jomoli Ochano Western Poblacion Poro Cebu Ika Christian Ray Esperanza Poro Cebu Chaya Philip Cyril Bohol Tigues Poro Cebu Abadis Carmel Jessica Western Poblacion Poro Cebu Jomoli Mabulay, Western Poblacion, Poro Cebu. Almarasen Irene Rubledo, Tigues, Poro Cebu. Urong Maria Daisy Gabason, Western Poblacion, Poro Cebu. Tendiliano Marlene Almarasen, Pagsa, Poro Cebu. Florentino Maitinova Mabulay, Mabini, Poro Cebu. Fortune Irene Grace Bajon, Western Poblacion, Poro Cebu. Lakbayo Elby Balcuto, Mercedes, Poro Cebu. Doon Milani J. Lasuta, Tigues, Poro Cebu. Anas Mel J. Pamantera, Mercedes, Poro Cebu. Ibuban Rhea Ann Ramirez, Tigues, Poro Cebu. Utadoy Salome Gustan Pagasyon, Poro Cebu Otero Hilary Faith Moanya Tigues, Poro Cebu Bulona Zara Patrice Lauron Gustan Pagasyon, Poro Cebu Rosales Donita Lacbayo Tigues, Poro Cebu Rosario Hazel May Gonzaga Western Pagasyon, Poro Cebu Suto Jamaica Babatuan, Western Poblacion Poro Cebu. You are the graduates of the General Academy School, the Belgians, and Ito Rogers 
servicing and road bike installation. Alcantara Jan Gonzalo Reyes, Western Poblacion, Foro Cebu. Olga Joseph Garciano, Western Poblacion, Foro Cebu. Dunayri Philip Jun Pagroa, Western Poblacion, Foro Cebu. Adriano Darwin Lacvalle, Pagsa, Foro Cebu. Sarlito Basco, Paksa, Toro, Cebu. Rintino Jensi Lacvalle, Paksa, Toro, Cebu. Florentino Rodnil Dundiano, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Rimena Vincent Lloyd Gallo, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Nabusoris Dinol Gorgonio, Pagsa, Toro, Cebu. Nabulay Jiric Robledo, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Nabulay Carl Christian Gonzalez, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Nidalo Edson Cano, Santa Rita, Toro, Cebu. Charles Ayan, Eastern Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Nathan Carl Alpini Gonzaga, Sigues, Toro, Cebu. Saavedra Rico Baran, Mercedes, Toro, Cebu. Dalo James Gabriel Vizuaria, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Alpichi Carl Mitch Estrera, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Akitan Jean Marie Falangia, Tigues, Toro, Cebu. Alessa Joy Gallagher, Tigues, Toro, Cebu. Caminero Darin May Albarasi, Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Dunayri Chrisley Vivian Granada, Western Poblacion, Foro, Cebu. Dinasco, Shanin K. Western Poblacion, Foro, Cebu. Magroa, Marjolene Tobadora, Western Poblacion, Foro, Cebu. Florentino Adamay Aligarbes, Western Poblacion, Foro, Cebu. Gonzaga, Jean Marie Boletres. Tigues, Toro, Cebu. Gonzales, Mary May Ortega. Tigues, Toro, Cebu. Fernan, Renisa Toledo. Western Poblacion, Toro, Cebu. Tiga, Mary Rose Austria. Tigues, Toro, Cebu. Otero Miki. Tigues, Poro, Cebu. Pasasagaba, Lea, Borja. Tigues, Poro, Cebu. Rivera, Mayjoy, Bolgado. Tigues, Poro, Cebu. Sepe, John, Princess, Florentino. Eastern Poblacion, Poro, Cebu. The Academic Excellence Award and awards for outstanding performance in the different fields is awarded to the Senior High School graduates of Zuzimo E. Pagroa Memorial National High School for school year 2020-2021. With high honors, Sir Mano Chamari Ochano, Leadership Award and Best in Work Immersion. Alpichi Kalmich Estrera with high honors.
Gonzalez, Mary May Otida, with high honors. Florentino Mikey Nova Magulay with high honors, best in work immersion. Noon Milani Lasuta with high honors. Gonzalez Kian Letner with high honors, best in work immersion. Otero Hillary Faith Muania with high honors. Rolana Zyra Patrice Lauron with high honors. Amalia Jane Garciano with high honors. Fortune Aaron Grace Byron with high honors. Best in work immersion. Philip June Favroa with honors and best in work immersion. Akitan Jim Marie Calandria with honors and best in work immersion. Rivera May Joy Bulgado with honors, best in culture and arts. Dunasco Janin K with honors. Florentino Adame Alicardes with honors. Rosales Bonita Lacbayo with honors. Jamaica Babatuan with honors and best in work immersion. So 
Dr. John Francis Florentino with honors. Abadis Carmel Jessica with honors. Otida Mary Rose Austria with honors. Nero Dorit May Alvarez with honors. Here is the inspirational message from Salus Chanu D. Jimenez at D. J. D. CISO 5, Director 4. Regional Director, Region 7. Greetings of love and peace to each and everyone. School year 2020-2021 has been the most challenging year in education. All been struggling to survive in all aspects. But our beloved Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones lead the baton that education must continue amidst whatever crisis we will be facing. And so, here we are, celebrating one of the most precious achievement, accomplishment that you have, your graduation and moving up ceremonies. It is one fleeting sense of pride and joy to be able to celebrate with all of you for your victory, bravery, resilience, perseverance, and commitment that push you to experience what we have today. So our beloved, most precious gems, our dear learners, just wanted to let you know that you are doing great. It is not easy to be learners with all the pressures in today's world. The more in these trying times due to pandemic. How you hurdle your lessons remotely through distance learning of varied modalities. The fear and scare of the virus due to negative publicity and many more. But you survive and victorious. So, don't lose your heart if you find things difficult. Today, the world is so tested. It is a high time that you put all your learnings into action. Never be a bystander watching as the world takes a paradigm shift. Take the wheel. Collectively, the youth are stronger than any pandemic known to men. Remember, everyone is a student of life as we all keep learning something or the other throughout our lives. So, keep the faith and believe in yourselves. Work hard and work smart too. And with the right focus and determination, you will see that goals are not impossible to achieve. Just have a clear plan and whatever detours come your way, don't be afraid. Face them with conviction that those are part of the pitfalls where we cannot evade. So be strong. And let your education and learnings with God be your shield. And don't forget to thank the most 
honest persons in your life. Those who can say and tell you exactly what you are doing, either good or bad. Those who guide you sincerely to the path where you want to walk on. Who always with you in times of your successes and downfalls. They are your parents, teachers, relatives, and best friends. So learners, congratulations. You hit the mark on your timeline. To all the parents and guardians out there, your contribution towards the realization of the one's dreams of your children is so great. Sustain it and you will see and harvest the fruits of it sooner than later. So thank you for partnering with Deep Ed through your children's education. So to all of you, congratulations. To the school, I know how you struggle also, especially that the world was shocked of what happened and nobody was prepared. There were so many hows and whys, but you are able to navigate it until reaching its destination. So whatever is the experience and hardships, what is more important is the outcome of what you have done. That's why my salute to you. To our teachers, school heads, supervisors, and non-teaching personnel, you did a great job worthy of emulation. I am proud of you. To the SDOs, I am so happy of what your division accomplished for school year 2020-2021. Your efforts doesn't go to vain. Now it comes into fruition. So to all, kudos. To everyone, always have the smile in you. See miracles in life every day and you will be filled with positivity in thoughts and actions. Congratulations once again. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Another inspirational message from Yunor Magdulis Briunis, Deep Ed Secretary. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, 
has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds 
and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, 
and perhaps some of you will settle down uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise it's not the end of our studies it's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning with modules with floods with earthquakes and of course with covid it's a commencement of doors opening to you more doors will be open because you are a graduate you can work you can proceed for further studies you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work whether at advanced studies whether at learning more in science and technology in mathematics and in the arts all of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened i hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Let us hear the words of gratitude from the graduates with high honors. Here is. Jamari Olchano Sorbano. My respect to our public schools district supervisor, Dr. Abby P. Barnes, our beloved school head, Ms. Marietta A. Gorgonio, to the distinguished faculty members and staff of Zosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School, parents, online viewers, Friends, co-graduates, a pleasant day to all of you. This is the day we are looking forward to. We've done it. All the hard work has finally paid off. And we can finally reap the fruits of our labor. I am honored and privileged today as I am going to deliver this message and reflect on our collective journey in this school. The past six years have certainly been tough, but now we're all here to celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories, and the journey in which we have all embarked toward our future destinations. Reminiscing the day when we first entered Zossi High, we felt nervous, scared, and full of doubts 
as we need to adopt to our new environment. However, as time passed and getting to know each in one of you, I knew this is where I belonged. We made new friends, new perspectives, and gained meaningful experiences that totally contributed our high school memories. Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by a net external force. We can relate this one in our lives and the relevance of it during this pandemic. We can achieve something that we manifested if we are acted by the force of efforts and determination that results to have realizations. If we feel apathetic towards our goals, I can presume that you will learn nothing. Dear graduates, we are not here today if we are not acted by these forces. We doubled our efforts in attaining such remarkable grades, surpassing self-doubts even this time of pandemic crisis. Nevertheless, realizing the essence brought by education in our lives spurred out to ride to stand firmly and continue the fight bravely in the pursuit for knowledge. The time we kept in our mind that we had to keep moving, small steps to success. It is upon us if we want to be acted by these forces or we want our life to remain as it is. There was no time for fear and doubt. We had to do it for our future depended on the action done today. When this COVID-19 affected our world, many abrupt transitions happened and affects us in all matter. We alter our ways from the normal things to protect us from this unseen enemy. Our educational system began to change. Face-to-face -face classes were no longer allowed, and these adds another burden to the teachers, students, and home tutors. We are in a predicament that the only way to survive is to adopt to the changes and surpass to it. Tons of modules being answered. Online class was the only way to feel the presence inside the classroom. And apathy in studying always bear in our mind from this unusual setup. We miss seeing each other every day. The interaction between the students and teachers during classes, the bonds of classmates, the gaiety and laughter during free time, in school activities that we usually enjoy. We tend to think that we are very unfortunate to spend the remaining year in high school under quarantine in our houses. This pandemic deprived us from the things that we deserve and showed us in the midst of uncertainties. But we stand firm and keep illuminating the torch of knowledge. We continue to fight for our dreams to be realized despite the hostility. With this year's graduation theme, kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya or strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic, it pertains to provide the students with good quality education in spite of the difficulties we have experiencing right now. We are all afflicted with this arduous setup. And we commend all the teachers for their time and efforts in giving us a quality education that we deserve and to become a product of highly competitive students in the modern world. Behind those modules are the print liners or the teachers who work hard just to be able to continue on today's modality of studies. A big salute to all of you, ma'am and sir. Being keen in our studies made us grasp the elusive reward and their attitude lead us to achieve this moment. I am proud and ecstatic that we have made it and I know, we always looking forward to this day, that we can finally say that we have taken off our high school journey. 
However, we will not make it here in our own efforts alone because behind every success story are the people who help to make it happen. The people who through their actions serve as inspirations and mind enlightenment. First, to our parents who always been there supporting us and rooting to the endeavor that we're going to make. Thank you for your unconditional selflessness, your unwavering support, your countless sacrifices that have opened many doors for me to grow and succeed, and all of the little and big things you have taught me along the way. To my mama and papa, I am immensely grateful for your hard works and providing us anything that we need. Rest assured that everything I do and everything I have accomplished, I owe it all to the both of you. I love you so much. Second, to my teachers, the distinguished faculty of Zosimo E. Fabroa, MNHS, for they serve not just only mentors, but they've shown to us the motherly and fatherly love. Huge thanks to each one of you for nurturing our minds and forging us to become an impeccable student. I will never forget everything that you have done in building our future and preparing us in the real world. Each one of you has place in our hearts because all of you became an instrument in aiming our dreams. Third, to our school head, Ms. Marietta Egorgunio, beloved by the students for her decisive decisions that benefits the school as a whole. Fourth, to my co-graduates, I know we have all shared amazing memories with each other cried on each other's shoulders, and shared laughter together. I know how hard and struggled this year, but we managed to deal with it. We surpassed the challenges, albeit of this chaos. To my confidence, you know who you are. I couldn't imagine my high school without all of you. We shared many indelible memories that I will cherish forever. We have grown up together. We did different escapades. And most of all, our love fonder and our connection still stronger as the years go by. Truly blessed to have all of you. To my beloved alma mater, Sosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School, I served the school for six long years. At first, I was hesitant to take the lead for the reason of self-doubts, if I can make it. However, I do realize that there is no harm in trying. I take that as a challenge for the school and myself as well. It is inevitable that there is hardships along the way, but through the guidance of our SG advisor, who molded myself to become bolder, wiser, and stronger, and for the motivations which helped me in dealing with those problems. A big thanks to our SG advisor, Stephen L. Young, who honed my leadership skills. To the future leaders of Zosihai, take the challenge and always illuminate the torch of leadership. Above all these, to our Almighty God, whose presence we call several times, Thank you, God, for elucidating our way towards success. Thank you so much, God, that we have reached this far. We offer this success to you because all of these are done in accordance to your will. As we embark on the next chapter of our life, I do have high hopes that all of us will succeed in the decisions we have made. We may part ways and leave the portal of our high school years, but we will bring with us the memories that we have created together under the roof of our alma mater, Sosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School. The lessons taught and instilled by our beloved teachers will not just only be put in mind, but will also be engraved in our hearts. 
and will be integrated into our daily living. Soar high, grade 12 graduates of Zossi High. This is Jomari U. Sorbano signing off. Thank you and have a good day, everyone. Loyalty Award is given to parents whose sons and daughters were able to finish their education at Zuzi Moifa Roa Memorial National High School. Mr. and Mrs. Eliseo and Evangeline Angkai, Western Poblacion, Coro City. Police Chief Master Sergeant Ismael and Mrs. Nieva Clarepino, Mabili Coro Cebu. Mr. and Mrs. Jerome and Inelda Gonzalez, Chiefs Coro Cebu. Pastor Homasapi and Mrs. Carmelita Mabulay, Eastern Poblacion, Coro Cebu. Mr. and Mrs. Martiniano and Mercy Otero of Figues, Coro Cebu. Students loyalty is awarded to students who spent six years of their high school education at Zubimo in Pagua Memorial National High School. Angkai Ejelui Soto. Apas, Melvin Bacalina. Ibanco, Wendy Junaire. Junaire, Kuyo Ford. Favroa, J. Mar Garciano. Favroa, Virgilio Enrico Rocaberte. Gonzalez, Kian Letner. Mabulay Jun Ephraim Garciano Pagubo Carlo Lucas Milan Chan Serbano Soto Charby Babatuan Serbano Jamari Olchano Abadis Carmel Jessica Albaracen Jomari Mabulay Albaracen Irene Rubledo Dunduyano Marlene Albaracen Florentino Maikinova Mabulay Lakbayo L.B. Bantoto Loon Milani Jane Lasuta Lucanias, Mel J. Formentera Mangubat, Ria Ann Ramirez Montalban, Josa Marie Gorgonio Nunez, Amalia Jane Garciano Otadoy Salome Otero, Hilary Faith Moanya Rolona Zaira Patrice Lauron Rosario Hazel May Gonzaga Soto Jamaica Babatuan Bora Joseph Garciano Dunairi Philip June Fabroa Dunduyano Darwin Lacbayo Dunduyano, J. Ford Fabroa, Sarlito, Basco Florentino, Jamsi, Lacbayo Florentino, Rudniel, Dunduyano Jimena, Vincent, Lloyd, Gallo Labisoris, Dinol, Gorgonio Mabulay Jeric Robledo Mabulay Kyle Christian Rosales 
Medalo Eldon Canoy Pilaton Carl Anthony Gonzaga Sa Avedra Rico Baran Tagalog James Gabriel de Tualia Akitan Jim Marie Talandria Kalesa Joy Dalaget Caminero Darin May Albarasi Denairi Chrissy Vivian Granada Dunasco Shanin K Favroa Marialine Pobadora Florentino Adame Aligarbes Gonzaga Jim Marie Oletres Gonzales Mary May Oteda Losornas Geniza Toledo Pasasagaba Leia Borja Rivera Mayjoy Borgado Soto Don Princess Florentino The Pledge of Loyalty by the Graduate this will be led by Mary May O. Gonzalez, graduate with high honors. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the 2021 senior high school graduates of Zosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School, having received our diploma, the Herby Pledge, to do our best for the glory of the school, to the fullest satisfaction of our parents, and for the improvement and welfare of the community. Behind this pledge is our never-ending love, appreciation, and loyalty to our alma mater Zosimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School. So help us God. Before the day is done Before 
before the night is gone, before the curtain closes, let me thank you for playing my music, thank you for singing my song, thank you for sparing a moment, cause with you I feel I really belong, thank you for keeping me company. Somewhere, somewhere, I'd like to sing this song again. Thank you for playing my music. Thank you for singing my song. of acknowledgement here is the graduate with high honors mikey nova mabulay florentino my respect to our public schools district supervisor dr abby p barnes to our school head miss marietta a gorgonio to the distinguished faculty members and staff of zusimo e fabroa memorial national high school Parents, online viewers, friends, co-graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day. It has been six long years full of twists and turns as we journey our senior high school years. The final year was indeed our great challenge 
amongst the other years of our high school days. For we need to strive harder in our studies, despite the threat brought by this pandemic crisis. It felt so uncertain to continue knowing that everything was new to us, and as well as the mode of learning employed was far different than what we used to. But as the DepEd Secretary, Leonor Mutulis Briones affirmed, learning must continue. Though this time is the worst time that I have ever experienced, still I am beyond blessed and immensely grateful for we have overcome this great adversity of our lives. And as I speak my heart out, as of this moment in front of the thousand online viewers, I knew that this would become one of the milestones that I will never forget in my life. Thus, these meaningful experiences, either good or bad, will also be treasured and be remembered as we grow older. And at this point in time, I want to express my utmost gratitude to some people who really extended their hands to help us in our journey to success and achievement. We are truly beyond blessed to have them as pillars of our triumph. The enthusiastic teachers of Zusimo E. Fabroa Memorial National High School who have honed and guided us in everything that we did. Thank you for always teaching us beyond what is written on the modules and books and for taking good care of us even beyond the four walls of the classroom. The moral values that you have taught to us will surely be forever engraved in our hearts and will not be put to waste. Our school head, Miss Mareta A. Gorgonio, the mother of our school, whose effort serves as very vital to the success of the students and for us graduates. Thank you for bringing light to our path, leading to success. To my family, Mami Neva, Daddy Mike, and Kuya Mar, thank you for the unconditional love, guidance, and for being my best support system. Thank you for being the instrument of faith, instilling the value of respect as a child of God. You are all my inspiration. I love you all so much. To my classmates and friends for being good listener and warm-hearted and one call away bodies. We have reached this far because of our unity and undying support to one another. Thank you so much guys for everything. And above all, thank you so much to our almighty God for all the blessings that I have received and about to receive for the coming years. Thank you for the gift of life and wisdom. May you continue guiding and leading our path to right as we journey our life in accordance to your divine will. And before we part our ways, let me leave you a noteworthy quotation from Winston S. Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. As we close this school year 2020-2021, we will bring with us the glory of our alma mater with grateful heart. This is Mikey Nova Florentino finally saying, Congratulations, Class of 2021. Soar high, graduates of Zussi High. Thank you and have a good day.